Hello, Math Rocks, our readers. Welcome back for another read aloud. This is Miss Sin Ferreira, and we are getting towards the end of this unit. We've been learning a whole lot about dramatizing characters and how to really act it out, and we've been talking a lot about book clubs as well. Today's lesson goes along with book clubs. And what we're going to focus on today is looking for clues inside of books to help us when we're stuck on something. Maybe you might be stuck on a word or maybe you don't understand what's going on. So what we have to do with our books is look for clues and that will help us to figure it out when we are stuck. And also we can ask our book club members too for help if we need it. For today's lesson, I have another another Mo Willems book. And this book, book is called Pigs Make Me... Hmm. I'm stuck already. Oh my goodness. Well, the focus today is to look for clues to help us when we're stuck. So I want you to help me out here. We have the book cover and I see elephant here and oh, I see a box of tissues. Oh, and there's a lot of tissues all over the floor around him. Hmm. Maybe that can be a clue to help me and I can get unstuck. Let's say pigs make me. Let's see, it starts with an S. <gasps> Those tissues, usually I need a tissue when I have a runny nose or if I start to sneeze. <gasps> sneeze. So that must be the word. So you see how I use the picture as a clue? And I also took my time and stretched out all of the sounds. I see there's a vowel team there, E-E. -E, and I know that yells out E, the long vowel sound. So today throughout the book, I am going to look for clues whenever I get stuck on words. Okay, pigs make me sneeze. Oh boy. And here's the title page. Pigs make me sneeze by Mo Willems. Gerald! What do you want to do today? I want a... 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 Yes? Oh boy, what does it look like he's about to do? A... A what? A... A ball? A swim? A hat? Chew! Oh my goodness, that is a huge sneeze. And look, he didn't even cover up his mouth with, with his elbow. That's not good, elephant. You need to follow the rules. You got to cover it up so you don't spread your germs. <sighs> got to teach him everything. Mm-mm. I'm stuck. Let's see here. Well, it looks like he's covering his mouth, but I don't think he's sneezing here. Maybe it's a sound noise because I don't see a speech bubble. Let's say maybe it's onomatopoeia. Let's say I'm going to sound it out. I'm going to look what he's doing. I see some motion little lines here. You see that by his hand? So let's look for clues. Let's sound it out too. Sn sn so there's a blend there. I itch it. So it's it. Sniff. <gasps> sniff. Oh, so he's making a sniff noise. <laughs> well, he really should use a tissue, not his arm. That's disgusting. Are you okay? I don't know. I chew. Oh, poor piggy. And he didn't cover his mouth again. Oh my goodness. I cannot stop sn a chew. Oh my goodness gracious. Sneezing. Now so look. Mid sentence he got a sneeze. he had a sneeze. I cannot stop sn but he sneezed. And then he had to finish a sentence. Sneezing. Oh no. You see how I'm changing my voice? I'm trying to make myself sound all nasally, like I like I'm like sneezing myself. What if what if uh oh what if 
pigs make me sneeze. Hmm? A chew! Man, poor piggy. What if you tried to sneeze more softly? Sorry. But if pigs do make me sneeze, then I cannot be near you. Oh, poor elephant and piggy. Then we cannot be friends. Then we must be apart forever. Oh, so he's thinking that maybe he's allergic to pigs. <gasps> Do any of you have allergies out there? I have allergies, especially this time of year. I've been sneezing a lot because of the pollen. All right, here. Let's see. But, Gerald. No. Do not. No, no. I've got another tricky word that I'm stuck on. So I have to look for clues. Let me look at the picture here. There's elephant. It looks like he's putting his hand to Piggy's mouth. And it looks like his other hand is going like this to his own mouth. No, do not. Hmm, so what would make sense? Let's try to sound it out. I see a vowel team, E-A. Well, we have a rule. The first vowel does the talking. The second vowel does the walking. So the first vowel does the talking. It's yelling out its own name, E. It's a long vowel sound. But the A, he's walking away quietly. We don't hear that A. So this is yelling out E. So let's stretch it out. Sp e -k speak. Let's see if it makes sense. No, do not speak. Those clues helped me when I was stuck. I'm so glad now I'm not stuck anymore. It is too late. I, uh, uh, uh-oh, he's about to sneeze again. Look at Piggy. He looks worried. Uh, uh. Uh. Look, he got a helmet this time to protect him and to shield him. Chew. Oh my goodness, look, it was a little chew. So poor Piggy was prepared this time and Elephant actually listened to him and let out a quieter sneeze. Goodbye. Gerald. Now it looks like he's heading to what? Let's look for clues. Look what he's wearing. That must be a doctor. Oh, there's that word I got stuck on before. Sniff. Hmm? Are you okay, Gerald? No, I am not okay, Dr. Cat. So look, he's listening to his heart. Pigs make me sneeze, and Piggy is a pig. Hmm. Piggy is also my best friend. Achoo! So look what the Dr. Cat is doing. Looks like he put a thermometer in his mouth, and he sneezed out the thermometer. Great. Now cats make me sneeze too. Hmm. There's another word I'm getting stuck on. It looks like it might be another onomatopoeia because I don't see a speech bubble, so it must be a sound. Oh, let's look for clues. He's standing here, but now he's laying on the ground. I see a TH there. TH, thumb. So let's stretch it out. Uh, so when he plopped down on the ground, it must have made a loud sound. Thud, thud. There we go. See, now I'm not stuck anymore. I used my clues to help. 
Oh, and look, he's shaking that thermometer. And he's putting his thermometer away. I do not think pigs make you sneeze. I do not think cats make you sneeze. Hmm. Then I wonder what it, what's going on. I think you have a, hmm, there's another hard word. I'm stuck. Hmm. Well, he's saying he doesn't think that pigs make him sneeze or cats. What else could make you sneeze? What could be going on? Well, let's see. I know when I sneeze, sometimes it's my allergies, but I don't know. Let me try to sound it out. C, cat, k, k. I'm going to cover up that C. I know that word. O, L, D spells old. K, old. Cold. Yeah, so it can't be allergies. Maybe he has a cold. I'm going to read that sentence and make sure it makes sense. I think you have a cold. Oh, do you think that makes sense? I think that's right. A cold? You are sick. Oh, boy. I am sick. Oh, thank you, doctor. Hmm. Well, I don't know about you. I'm usually upset when I'm sick. But maybe he's happy that he has a cold because now he knows he's not allergic to Piggy and he can spend time with Piggy. <gasps> piggy, Piggy, great news. Now let's think. What do you think is happening now? Let's make some predictions. Feel free to pause the video and I want you to talk, to do a turn and talk, and think about what you think happened. Because remember, the whole beginning of the story, he was sneezing and he kept sneezing all over Piggy. So let's see. Piggy, Piggy, great news. I have a cold. Good for you. Uh-oh. He gave his cold to Piggy. The end. All right, boys and girls, I enjoyed that book so much. I can definitely relate to it and make some connections because this time of year, my allergies get really bad and I'm sneezing a lot. But luckily, it's just my allergies and I don't really have a cold. So what you're going to do today, use today's lesson. And just like how I did whenever I was stuck on words, I looked for clues to help me get unstuck. I looked at the pictures. Then I really took my time to sound out the word using all of the skills that I have learned throughout the school year and stretching out all of the sounds to get unstuck. So never just skip the word and just keep reading without knowing the word because then the story is not going to make sense and you might miss something important. Because remember, I got stuck on that word that was in the title. That's very important. That's the title of the book. So if I can't read the title of the book, then I'm not really going to understand the story. So have fun using this lesson with your own books today, boys and girls. Parents, please assist your child with looking for clues to help them get unstuck when they are stuck on words or even if they're stuck and they're unsure what's going on in the story. All right, boys and girls, enjoy the rest of the day and rock on. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.